I have weathered rainfall that could penetrate your skin like a freshly filled junkie pin or a death stalker scorpion's fatal sting. I have tamed the plaguing calls from the wild and left them caged within these great halls where fate's rules are made by mother nature's kin. I have pissed against the raging wind and heard pagans sing to a nameless thing while watching their crops rot between this hot rock and its crater's rim. I have blessed giant waves of sin and watched lost gods host vacant skins only to become wandering vagrant kings shaking their wage of sin in their bottomless yet fading tin. I have watched Satan's tears battering a lonely angel's wings as she walked on the way for thin tectonic plates and grinned at the stranger things which occur within this endangered spinning rock where strangers skim its ageless skin dressed in pseudonyms and faceless grins. And the truth be told, there's no rubies, gold or ageless things that can move these poles that the magus brings. I have watched beauties hold acutely mould into a rage of layman sin and ageing skin. I observe my duties roll in this unduly told story taking place within and still these fakers bring their stakeless state of unruly goals to uphold their chamber's fringe with the hate of all the latent things that lay beyond what their self-professed makers bring. So the altruistic state of things is left draped in a paper thin tapered win. As they pay per view, way too few remain akin with the shamanic rites and the nameless winds that can tame the beast that the minions of Satan brings. I have seen alligator skin spacemen swing planets in ancient slings before launching them into a vacant sea of space beyond the range of the universal ranger's wings. I saw a self-indoctrinated king trying to rule every sacred thing that exists outside of his self-inflated skin, while condemning those who chose to oppose his hatred's whims and adhere to the elemental harmony nature brings, because they knew what I know now. God never created man in his image. Man created God to look the same as him.